China attacked the American continent with spy balloons. A second Chinese spy balloon has been spotted over Latin America, a day after a similar craft was seen in U.S. skies, prompting the scrapping of a rare trip to Beijing by U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Authorities labeled the high-altitude balloon, which was spotted over sensitive sites, unacceptable, saying it violated U.S. airspace and international law and was being used for surveillance. Beijing previously claimed the balloon was a weather research airship that had been blown off course. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken discussed with Director of China's CCP Central Foreign Affairs Office Wang Yi on the phone on Friday the incident with a high-altitude Chinese balloon over the United States. I spoke this morning with Wang Yi to convey that, in light of China's unacceptable action, I am postponing my plan to travel this weekend to China. Blinken said at a joint news conference with South Korean Foreign Minister Park Jin at the U.S. Department of State. And I made it clear that the presence of this surveillance balloon in U.S. airspace is a clear violation of U.S. sovereignty and international law, that it's an irresponsible act, and that the PRC's decision to take this action on the eve of my planned visit is detrimental to the substantive discussion that we were prepared to have, Blinken insisted. Last November in Bali, U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese leader Xi Jinping agreed for the U.S. Secretary of State to visit Beijing to follow up on the agenda the two heads of state had discussed at the meeting. China said the first balloon was for civilian meteorologic and scientific purposes that strayed into U.S. airspace. The airship is from China. It is a civilian airship used for research, mainly meteorological purposes, said the statement attributed to a foreign ministry spokesperson. The Chinese side regrets the unintended entry of the airship into U.S. airspace due to force majeure, it said, using the legal term for an act outside of human control.